Hey, what is going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent Axe Tech and continuing on from the lightning strike that hit the house and the issues it caused, this metal rig, the Asus B250 board is done. Will not power on no matter which power supply I try to add or use, whether I'm on third, 24 pin, second or first. And so I'm continuing testing and I wanted to give you this update in this video. So some of the GPUs are in here. These have already been tested. ASRock 5700 XT, PowerColor 5700 XT, but modded as you can see with some 120 mil fans. 6700 XT of uh, Red Devil. And then the other ones are over here, but that ASUS board is done. The other cards are sitting right here. Uh, we got a 6800, 590, another 5700 XT XFX, and then another PowerColor 5700 XT right there. Now, where's the FPGA? Don't worry, the FPGA is right here. It works. The uh, Well, the FPGA had some issues, so it's not working 100%, but after doing the mod that I showed you in the previous video, then the lightning strike happened. So just dealing with things as they come, uh, but FPGA is out, and so we're using this particular get up here, this cluster, to test out more GPUs and we are booted. Now we're not on the graphics. One thing I notice is even with the display port cable right there plugged into the GPU, I'm not getting any output. But it could be that my motherboard settings has it set to integrated GPU uh, because of when the FPJ was in there. So not too worried about it, but I noticed it wasn't giving me any display output. So going to device manager, just wanna make sure the GPU is showing up in here. It's not, that's not good. So we're gonna shut down the system. And I've been testing out different risers, right? Or riser cables, USB cables, uh, the little adapters. I even have my four-way splitter in there, which was working on some cards, at least three or four that I did before. Uh, by the way, the 6600 XT seems to be good as well. So if it's not showing up, we're gonna reboot, try to reseed everything and see if we could get it to show up. And we just gotta keep testing. Because I need to let the insurance know what's going on, man. Right now all I got is, you know, uh, dead power supplies. So ATX power supply over here is done. Server power supply, done. Motherboard, done. I don't know if the GPUs were good, so I have to test them. And this is the setup that I'm working with here. Just trying to utilize this system as best I can to make sure that everything is working uh, so that way I can report it properly to my insurance. So there we go. Make sure power supply is off, not on, Chris. Good job. Um, make sure that everything is seated. Might need to unscrew it, reseat it right now. And things are just complicated, man. I just didn't have the GPU plugged in. So let's try it again. <sighs> Got a lot on my plate. So appreciate all of you guys showing support and love. Um, got some personal family matters that we're dealing with as well as all of this crap. But that's basically it, right? I'm testing every single one of these GPUs to make sure that they work and properly report to the insurance. Um, it looks like the motherboard took the hit and the electrical charge stopped there along with the power supplies. So the power supplies did ground out the electrical connection. Um, and we're just having to take every single one of our AMD GPUs, move it over and test. Uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, just in case you're new to the channel, uh, everything in the NVIDIA rig up top and the bottom rig is still working. All the NVIDIA GPUs are good to go. It's just the AMD rig that is not. So we're just testing every single one of these. How am I gonna replace the B250 motherboard? We'll worry about that in a future video. For right now, we just wanna make sure each card is working. So I'm gonna continue testing offline. I just wanted to give you that update. We're going to make sure it shows up in Device Manager now, and then we're going to run an extensive load on it to see how it performs, and there it is. All right, so we're good to go there. Going to load up Hardware Info, MSI Afterburner, and then run those uh, workloads, not only compute workloads, but maybe MSI, uh, uh, you know, burner or whatever, uh, combustor, to just make sure that GPU rendering and compute is all still good to go. And it seemed to have kept the clocks from the other 5700 XT that I just tested. So that's good to see. 
and it is picking up detecting the GPU now we just need to monitor thermals temperatures voltages all that good stuff make sure there's nothing abnormal comparing that against other benchmarks or other test results that I've done in the past on this particular GPU and everything is looking good right now so we're gonna go ahead and leave that there to run in and that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for all your uh, support, your likes, your subscribes, your uh, friendly messages. Just keeping me motivated to keep going. Um, also, stay tuned. Jazz Miner control board is in. Will it get the Jazz Miner up and running? Stay tuned to find out. But I'm going to continue testing all of this for the AMD rig to make sure the insurance knows everything that got killed or destroyed or affected by the lightning strike. And uh, yeah, do me a favor on the way out. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.